Hello again. So here um, you can see a mess. Basically, I've just been up fishing out everything out of the loft, all my old boxes of stuff, just all scrap parts which I've had. Um, I think my leftover grand all of stuff's all in here and bits which I was unsure what I'd be using on my grand all. Uh, got a man cab in there. Dave has a cab for me. Various chassis rails, all sorts. So. The plan with this lot is I thought we'd do a parts bin build um, between like the Grand Hauler and my Tiger Tank if you're following that. So you'll notice with those builds I'm down to like, the preparation stages, all the prep work and it's time consuming. So the videos are going to start becoming a little few and far between with that while I'm getting stuff done. So. I thought to fill the time and to keep content coming for you guys uh, I thought we could maybe start constructing something out of leftover parts I don't know what um, that's the joys of this we'll just start with a chassis and away we go I guess I would like to rebuild the grand hauler first I think and using the sleeper I took off Rusty and the new cab that I'm getting off Dave and stretching that sleeper and making a stretched uh, sleeper like a Peterbilt or another Kenworth or possibly turn it into a tri-drive and have like a stretched day cab tri-drive tri-drive, I'll get that out uh, I don't know, I'll kind of let you guys decide on that um, so let me know in the comments what you'd like to see built, whether it be a tri drive or an extended sleeper or what. I'd love to hear your feedback on that one. So for the moment, I thought we've got another box here to dump all this in as we go. So we can go through and just have a look what we've got. And then I can start working out what I'm going to need out of these boxes to start putting the chassis together. And then we'll go from there. There is no manual with this build. No one knows what we're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. Uh, like I say, we're just going to do it on the go. Just from spare parts. So, there will be odds and ends that I will need to resource. Possibly like suspension brackets. Little things like that. Stuff that you don't really have left over. Because they tend to be used in every build. We'll just work along. Moment. Do it. Sorry about that. It's looking like um, Darren said when he was sending me this parcel out, which I mentioned in yesterday's video, a uh, chap who's kindly donated me some stuff. <laughs> That's just turned up. So this was meant to be for now, I guess. I know it's from him because he said it would be in the Asia Tees box. So let's just have a little uh, <laughs> see what we've got in here. This is so much appreciated by the way, like you wouldn't believe. Stuff like this, I don't know, it's... Words can't really describe it in a funny sort of way. It's just nice that there's still nice people out there. Oh, wow. Darren, sir, you are... An absolute gentleman. But we have some... Uh, Darren, I believe, builds custom trucks. And he's currently made a sleeper extended... I don't know whether it be a Kenworth Peterbilt. Whether he's used a King Hauler or a Grand Hauler. But there's a lot of leftover trees and stuff in here. From like King Haulers, Grand Haulers. Stuff like that. There's even um, another Grand Hauler cab there. So, <laughs> mate, you are a gem. I, I really appreciate it. I really do. A little bull bar there. Uh, that would look good up on front of Rusty, that. Mate, I'm real chuffed. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Right, so... I'm going to pop this down there and we can start working through everything. 
And so we got a little bit distracted with the postman there. He couldn't have turned up at a better time. I just had to go then for five. I, I'm genuinely humbled. Like, the, it's nice to be nice. Anyway, let's uh, start going through this. And the sun's out again, which is just awesome. Because the forecast for next week is... I won't be out here, I don't think. So, starting here, we have the Grand Hall of Chassis Rails, which we could build something fun with those. Like I say, I have in mind for a tri-drive or a stretched sleeper. This is off the old Mercedes, the box trailer, and I just happen to have a box there. And those, I believe, were from when I built the T-cab using the standard 4x2 Scania. I um, extended that to make the T-cab, so we have those. So I'll just get those out of the way. Uh, the setup for a four wheeler here, two fronts, two rears, they're just GPM alloys on Tamiya tyres and you have to bolt them over once the wheels are fitted which would I suppose be a nice addition should we um, do the box truck. In here it just looks like it's tyres, got the uh, folder super singles, we have um, two pairs of those in there with the forms and again to make possibly another four wheeler but I could always use some roadies off another truck should I need them to make twin axle up the rear but some RC four wheel drive roadie tyres there and just some odds and ends just crap the Tamiya MFU01 which I was going to put in the grand hauler the Kenworth custom build I'm doing but I am going to go with the beer unit and then I can have a proper Cummins sound engine. That's more for an American truck being the old one. So we've got that to use. The Planet T5 I was going to use again on the Grand Ola just because it binds up well with the MFU. So that will keep actually for the MFU. And this I think is stuff left over from my Actros build. Uh, turning his switch in there. They always come in handy for stuff. Yeah, me and my dad's won a lot of uh, model truck shows over the years. Just a lot of these lying around. Yeah, I think some of this is mainly leftover Merc stuff. Ah. That is actually for the Merc. I've still to do the interior on that truck. There's the pair of mud flaps there. Mercedes bend one, bends ones for it. These are just odds and ends left over from a Merc build and in this box again I think a lot of this is just from the Merc because I converted it to the SLT so didn't really use too much of the original parts other than the cab again basically um, some spare trailer axle there which also comes in handy for a tag axle or maybe a lifting axle instead of a tri drive but just put a lifting just a free rolling axle in there and in this box just looks to be like more odds and ends and stuff just odd little bits and bats they look like uh, stairs for side skirts and stuff but you know you can always reuse that stuff for other things uh, pinions so just across members, just odd bits of tack off the trucks. The chance of uh, any of that getting reused might be second to none, but it's still handy to have. Loads of Tamiya tyres, because I tend to swap out for Lesu and RC four wheel drive and go for better compound tyres. It's a complete gearbox there out the Grand Ola. It's just a truck back. I'm going to be making a new back for my grand all using that one and then I can cut maybe a little window out and stuff in there and then get that filled into that uh, just the original crappy bushings chance of them getting used is like 
probably never. Just all screws, odd screws and stuff, bits of greases. Uh, shocks, suspension and stuff, more nuts, screws, cross members, odds and ends, mud flaps. In this box, I have a complete MAN cab, some MAN window deflectors and gearbox cover in there. I have some axle housings. I actually wondered what I'd done with them. There was the original ones out my grand all around. Nice to see those. Those will be handy. Uh, gearbox. Like I say, I swap out a lot of mine for the single speed planetaries from Lesu. You get a lower gear ratio. You don't need the top speed of the three speed box. So that MAN cab could make up a nice box truck. But the wife wants to do a fire engine, so we could maybe use the box chassis rails and their main cab and then get creative and build a fire engine. Decisions, decisions. That's the box. Everything is dusty, it's just all been up stored in the loft. You just never know when you need it and now I think it's a nice time to get it out. Probably loads more stuff if I look, but... You know how it is. Uh, bag of cross members there. Just mods and ends. And that's like a rear brace for the rear cross member. I believe that was from the Scania because I didn't need the tilting cab anymore being a T cab. Mirror arms, mirrors. Scania dash. More mirrors. Off an old Tiger tank, Henlong. Steering bar. Some curtains. Some little light bars. Some amber rotating beacons. Some more Scania bits. Uh, alloy servo mount there. And this box, I think you guys have probably seen most of this when I was sorting out for my grand hauler, but there's like a old King Ola interior, some tanks and boxes, uh, some there. Aero Max stack exhaust. Those are the other chrome exhausts that I showed you last time. Some spare King Hauler parts. It's a GPM rear chassis brace thing um, with a light bar in there as well. So for any Euro truck, single axle airbag kit from extra speed. All my leftover Grand Hauler stuff. You know, we can really have some fun guys building. It's just what do I build? Front axles, more tanks. Complete axles, perfect for tri drive. Uh, more grand hauler stuff. Some stacks there in need of repair. Suspension kit. Um, and just some bits out. Took off rusty. A cab latch. And the sleeper, which I would use to make an extended sleeper, if that's what I'm going to go with. I shall reuse this. Just cutting down the lines, basically. I'll cut one on the cab down the inside line. Uh, sorry, to the outside. And then this one. I would cut to the inside, pop them together, rear door goes in perfect, fill all them holes. And that would be an extended sleeper with a little bit of work. Spare little two itch there for like what I have on Rusty for my pole trailer. Love Rusty me. And moving on to the box that I've just received from Darren. Again, thank you. 
We have aluminium front bumper there for an American truck. Like I say, that might look good up on front of Rusty because I'm kind of restoring him but not restoring him, giving that old look but with some new, like, odd shiny bits. So we have an interior there. That's always handy to have interiors. And these are like to me gold at the moment for the builds that I'm building and stuff like this for making jewel headlamps and things it's fantastic there we have uh, light bezels for a king roller or a globe liner now I'm still kind of unsure I'd swear against going against extra lights on the roof cap of my grand aller, just to less is more kind of thing. Or we could just make a cut around the rear bumper there, and there's your twin headlamp conversion. Oh, we're gonna have some fun building. Oh yes, we are. The king aller front bumper there. They are Grand Ola Arches and some more Grand Ola Arches. I love the look of these arches. I just think they finish the custom looking trucks off. We've got a rear floor plan there. Oh mate, you are a diamond. I'd bust one of my Grand Ola tanks on the brackets in storage and I was just currently on the lookout for another set of Grand Ola tanks then I didn't have to just bodge that because I'm thinking of keeping the Grand Ola on the custom Kenworth but um, stripping the chrome off and then colour coding them to the sleeper and the rest of the body so mate you are a diamond looks to be a lot of shiny stuff in there whoa tanks and steps yes I love the look of some stretched trucks when they've got just that chassis filled with tanks and steps. I don't know. Everybody's different and it's the joys of custom trucks that you can get so creative. And, you know, it doesn't have to be replicas. You can just make what you want. It's, it's a world of imagination at the end of the day. Those are just like real handy those are perfect thanks again dude the king all the grand all interior i can see quite a um, lot of custom trucks now coming to this channel being built um there is no excuse and there is nothing stopping me now really is the there's a arch kit there for a grand all king all and the mud flaps and stuff and we have a grand hauler grill there and I believe that's just one of the arms to put the mud flaps on so if we got here it actually looks to be a cab so let me open this so here is um, a grand hauler cab and again more American truck parts Just all Andy stuff, light lenses and things, air horns, visor for a grand hauler, there's the glass for the cab kit, oh this is awesome, there's the floor plan for the cab, again more air cleaners, little bits of shiny stuff like the mirrors and things like that, but more light bezels. Oh, we, we can really light up a truck with this lot. Stack exhaust. There's the um, stack covers. More shiny bits. Mud flaps. Things like that. The mirror arms. And what's here? Now, he, he did say he had been custom building stuff himself. So... 
this cab has been cut as you can see so this is actually awesome in a way because I just got a cab off Dave to do just this so we may as well keep this for the stretched custom sleeper build oh there's another part of a sleeper already okay okay now this box is just completely changing the whole dynamic of where I want to go now because technically I have a stretch custom sleeper already needing to put together so I still have a grand older cab that we can still have some fun with uh, some aerials and things in there it'll be a nice touch and I'm unsure what that is Like I say, he said he's been custom building in the past, so he's given me his scrap as well and the offcuts and stuff, which you see me using. I like to recycle the scrap because you can get just as creative with bits like that as you can spending your money and buying pre-made stuff. That's for the backs of the lights and the bumpers and stuff. Yeah, hey, once they're like kind of joined together, you know, and we can flatten down a window or two, get rid of all the rivets and stuff like that. He's already done the same here as well and started with the roof getting that in. So I kind of <laughs> brought all my stuff out because I kind of knew what I had but was unsure on everything I had but I had a basic idea of stuff what I could build and get creative with and then the courier knocked on uh, it might be a destiny as they call it it's just changed the whole dynamics and perspectives of where my head was at for starting a scrap bin build I think we should uh, jump to the stretch sleeper. The work's kind of already been um, put in and almost like ready to go. We just have to build up a chassis, which isn't a problem. I do like the idea of a tri drive. Rusty would look awesome as a tri drive, but Rusty's Rusty, and I don't want to do too much to that truck. I'm happy how he is. He, he's actually my favourite truck, believe it or not. So this like it says on the box let the fun begin RC never stops I'm, I'm gonna leave that video there because it's probably gone on and yeah just leave me some comments in the comment section down below let me know what you want to see me build what 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 shall I build don't want to build the ordinary basic case let's get creative with stuff so let me know in the comment section down below and I'm going to leave that there for now guys. So I thanks you all for watching. Uh, you're probably bored now and dying to shut me off. Uh, Darren again, can't thank you enough. It is just most appreciated. And to the rest of you guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you've not already subscribed and hit the notification bell then you can stay notified of all my future videos and if that video in for you then you can just clearly ignore the notification so thanks again ciao for now